Eh kat kedai popular tak jumpa pun. Kat popular tak ada. Madam dah cari dah kat popular tak ada. Okay. Um, itulah you all kena print. Apa yang Madam bagi tu kena pergilah mana-mana kedai untuk print that uh, semi log graph. Okay. Maria nasib baik buka. Dapat ke Mia? Kedai Maria? Cepat Mia nak dengar jawapan. Ye, Alhamdulillah. Very good. Ha, kan betul Madam kata dekat kedai Maria ada. Kedai Maria hari-hari buka. Dia bukannya Melayu, dia Cina. Nama je Maria. Okay, saya pergi kedai Maria. Dia buka. Baru dapat tadi. Okay, right. Very good. So Mia boleh cubalah hands on lah nanti. Okay, sebab you all punya quiz pun medium nak guna pakai empat. Okey untuk quiz tu saya nak guna empat keping a uh, semi log graph. Maksudnya satu graph uh, a medium tak nak buat saya tak nak share apa? Saya tak nak share graph paper. Meaning uh, you have to plot one paper for magnitude, one paper for phase, after that we combine. We combine based on the frequency exists. Okay. So meaning our quiz have a two question. Okay. One. So maksudnya one question uh, have to use two semi log graph. So for our quiz I need you prepare four semi log graph. Okay. So meaning we have four graph you have to plot. Question one two graph meaning magnitude versus frequency. Question two also but the different transfer function. Okay. Because I want everybody try, okay. I want everybody try how to plot magnitude versus frequency. Another one, you have to plot phase versus frequency. They say, kalau saya tak buat quiz, you all tak cuba. Okay, you tak, you tak nak cuba pun because saya tak reward you all kan. Okay, now I give you 4%, okay, to those yang hantar quiz tu dekat saya. Due date dia on Sunday. Okay. Quiz tu due date dia on Sunday. Okay Sunday 11.59. That's still Sunday right. So hopefully 11.59 tu medium dah dapat all uh, from 14 another one maybe from 8% yang budak Filipin tu. Okay. So yang sekarang ni medium tunjuk Hands on. Macam mana nak buat buat plot tu using second method, using graph. Okay. Now let's see our slide. Okay. Cuba tengok kita punya slide ni. Daripada semi log graph ni. Okay. This is our semi log graph. Alright. So untuk this example, uh, label dia medium uh, letak dekat atas lah. Okay. Sebab paper chart ni Uh, satu dia sebab actually media ada dua jenis ni yang first yang I bagi dekat you. Okay this is the first yang I dapat dekat online. I share dekat you but I nak you guna yang second one tu yang biru tu. Okay I nak you guna ni but but yang saya tunjuk dekat slide ni dengan yang dekat biru tu sama je cuma label dia saya prefer dekat bawah. Okay saya pre prefer label 01, 1, 10, 100 dan 1000 ni dekat bahagian uh, horizontal. Okay, bahagian X sana lah dekat, uh, dekat bahagian footnote. Okay. So this is cuma untuk I want to share macam mana you want to make it scale. Okay. Untuk you sketch atas semi log graph ni saya nak you put on scale. Okay. Everybody use the same scale. Okay. So for magnitude I want everybody use um, nyam 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 2cm 2cm. Oh sorry. So dia ada beza sikit magnitude and okay bila bagi dua ya. So for magnitude scale dia 2cm equal to 20db. Okay. So for pace 2cm equal to 45 degree. Okay, so saya nak all student using the same scale uh, to plot your magnitude and phase uh, 
versus frequency. Okay, this is a uh, scale we're going to use. Okay, this is the scale. Okay. So, guna scale ni. Okay, you have to use this scale. Right? Okay. 1 cm or 2 cm tu, meaning macam mana 1 cm, 2 cm tu? Okay. Let's say you have your semi-log graph. Okay. Let's say you have a semi-log graph now. You use your ruler. Okay, cuba tengok. One bowl. Okay. Daripada, let's say lah daripada sini. Sini. Ni adalah 1 cm. Betul ke tidak? Cuba measure. This is 1 cm. Let's try siapa yang ada semi log graph tu. This is 1 cm. 1 cm ni equal to 10 dB. Betul tak? Yes. Ah, very good. Yeah, 1 cm. So 1 cm tu equal to 10 dB. And then for our slope, our standard slope is 20 dB per decade kan? That's why madam asking you, you have to use let's say 1 cm 10 dB. So meaning to define slope, we use 2 cm. Meaning 2 cm you can get equal to 20 small box. Okay. So for that uh, semi log graph, 1 small box is equal to 1 dB. Okay. 1 small box equal to 1 dB. So, untuk elakkan you all kira, so kita guna ruler lah. Okay, so normally very accurate. Okay, so that's why you have to, daripada you kira kotak-kotak kecil tu, that's why uh, I'm asking you use your ruler to uh, apa ya to sketch your magnitude and phase. But you have to follow scale yang Medium bagi tu. You have to follow that scale. For magnitude versus frequency. Okay, so let's say this one. For magnitude versus frequency. Okay, so you have to use 2 cm equal to 20 dB. Okay, for another one, phase versus frequency. You have to use 2 cm equal to 45 degree. Okay. So, bear in mind. So, that's one point you have to follow. Before you sketch or before you draw your uh, board plot. Okay. Another one you have to now decade. What is a decade? Decade means, let's say from here, madam, start with 0 0.1. Okay. All plotted, you have to start with omega equal to 0 0.1. Okay, let's say 0 0.1. You have to find out your slope in one decade. Okay, let's say you you start at 0 0.1. What is your one decade? 0 0.1, your one decade is a 1. So, madam label kat situ kan? So, 0 0.1 until 1 is your one decade. Okay, another one. Let's say you start with 0 0.3 until 3. Okay, this is your one decade. And then let's say you start with 6. Where is your one decade? You go to 60. Okay, this is a one decade also. Let's say you start with 10 until 100. This is a one decade. Okay, let's say you start with 60. The one decade is 600. Okay, this is all one decade. So, you have to find your slope per decade in decade. Okay. So, let's try our example. Number one. Okay, let's say this number one. We already sketched on Wednesday. So, for today, uh, I will share how to use table. Okay, to plot magnitude and phase versus frequency, right? Okay, so this example, example one, uh, the question is forward gain equal to G, okay, this is your forward gain, 
forward gain is a given and unity feedback so meaning your h equal to one okay so so meaning is here you we have to find the open loop kan we have to find the open loop down function g multiply with h h is equal to one so meaning you can get a g g omega right okay so once you get your g h g omega okay so this one so you have to simplify so meaning you have to simplify your transfer function follow the basic factor okay you have to simplify follow the basic factor okay you have to follow the basic factor so meaning after simplification you get this one okay this is after simplification we have constant we have j omega we have one plus j omega over one and one plus j omega over five okay right madam yeah uh, untuk simplify ni saya kurang jelas yang tentang bila uh, yang bahagian bawah tu okay okay macam mana dah ada lima tu okay sekejap Arab ya ni. okay sekejap madam padam ni sekejap ya din macam mana nak simplify dia Okay, so let's say sekejap. Simplify tu kena betul Kalau simplify tu salah Daripada awal dah salah dah Ni sama dengan 10 Over S S plus 1 S plus 5 kan Okay, so let's say Kita tukarkan GH J omega We can get 10 Over all S tu kita tukarkan Onward into J omega Ni akan jadi 1 plus J omega and this one is a 5 plus J omega. Okay, from here you have to simplify because kita punya apa, kita punya standard. Okay, kita kena tengok we have you have to refer to our standard uh, pole. Okay, so let's see our standard pole can be what 1 plus J omega T kan. Okay, satu ni kena ada constant dekat depan. So, jadi to fulfill this basic, standard basic factor, so kita kena simplify lah ni. So, ni 10. Pj omega tak ada simplify. So, ni memang dah satu. Tak perlu simplify. Dan the next one tu kita kena simplify. Bawa keluar 5. So, ni akan jadi 1 plus j omega over 5 kan? Okay tak, Din? Kita buat keluar 5. Okay, okay. Ha, okay. That's why lepas tu kita cancel out 5 and 10. So we can get 2 here. Okay, clear tak? Okay, baik. Okay. Kita keluarkan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kita buat keluar 5 sebab kita kena, we have to rearrange in term of standard basic factor. Satu kat depan. So, J omega over something tu adalah kita punya corner frequency. What is a T? T equal to 1 over F kan? So that's why kita punya yang ini 1 plus J omega over 5. So 5 ni adalah frekuensi. Okay. Kira tak? Okay, baik, baik. Ha, okay, right. So Madam boleh proceed ya. Eh? So I proceed. So now we complete our basic factor. So kita dah dapat basic factor kita. Sekejap eh, Madam nak tengok komen ni. Okay, clear Madam. Okay, good. Now, apa nak buat? Okay, so cuba tengok ada table kat sini. Apa yang Madam nak tunjuk sebenarnya. Okay, from the simplification, kita ada empat basic factor kan. So, dekat first column tu, kita labelkan basic factor kita. Okay, basic factor. Okay, the first one ni. This is our basic factor. Ni depan ni ada B. Madam dah terhilang pula. Okay, basic factor. Ikut sequence eh. So the first one constant. The second one J omega minus 1. Sebab minus minus tu semua from the denominator right. So you have to put the label. J omega minus 1. 1 plus J omega over 1. Okay minus 1. And then the next one is a 1 plus J omega over 5 minus 1. Okay the second column. 
you have to label your corner frequency meaning frequency yang jadi yang pembawah j omega tadi tu so corner frequency kita fact uh, constant dengan j omega tidak ada corner frequency that's why madam dash kan dia okay constant and j omega without corner frequency so kita dash okay untuk 1 plus j omega over 1 ini adalah dia punya corner frequency dan 5 ini adalah dia punya corner frequency. Okay, clear that one? How to buat kita punya table ni. Okay, next. First column, second column, settle. Okay, now kita tengok yang ada 20-20-20 apa? What's the meaning for 20 from inside uh, inside the table? Okay, so now you already know our corner frequency is 1 and 5. Okay, 1 and 5. So, you have to label here. Label kat atas ni, 1 and 5. Okay, so, tu next dia apa kena buat? Lepas kita buat basic factor, 1 complete basic factor, 1 you complete your corner frequency, you have to add on that table and then based on corner frequency tadi, 1 and 5, kita buat another 3 column. Okay, we add on another three column and then you have to label macam mana yang Madam buat tadi lah. One and five. Okay, yang hijau tu. You have to label one and five here. Okay, now inside the label, we show all the slope. Okay, dekat dalam label, dekat dalam table ni, kita isikan dengan slope sahaja. Okay, 20, 20. You tengok all 20 inside the table kan? Okay, so kita cuma summary kan slope dekat dalam table ni. Okay, so now untuk J omega. Untuk constant tidak ada slope. Okay, let's say ni basic factor 1, basic factor number 2, basic factor number 3, basic factor number 4 and then the last one is a total. Okay, so basic factor gain ataupun constant, they don't have slope. So meaning kita dash kan ataupun you can put zero. Okay, this is meaning to represent no slope. Okay, tak ada slope, we label with the zero or dash. Okay. <clears throat> For j omega minus 1, uh, minus 20, actually, <coughs> actually dia punya slope is a 20 but because of j omega minus 1, so we tambah lab label kat depan tu minus, minus, minus. Let's say lah your j omega plus 1, so meaning your slope is a plus 20, plus 20 lah, okay. This is your slope, kalau dia minus 1, okay. My, default dia is a 20, but plus or minus depends your minus 1 or plus 1, okay. Clear? <coughs> right, so for j omega minus 1, Semua frekuensi tu 1 and 5 tu kita buat minus 20. Okay, so kita fill up lah minus 20, minus 20, minus 20. For all corner frekuensi. Like yang label tadi tau. Yang dekat sini. Okay, sekarang ni kita nak fokus this one. Okay, so so basic factor number 2. All contribute the corner frekuensi. Okay, so maksudnya minus 20. Uh, for the whole corner frequency, right? So, we write down 20, 20, 20 and just put minus, minus, minus because this is a j omega minus 1. Okay, the next one, corner frequency 1. So, how about for corner frequency 1? Okay, before before 1, uh, slope equal to 0. Okay, before 1, slope equal to 0. So meanings, <coughs> that's why kenapa uh, saya tulis satu dekat tengah line ni. Okay, saya nak tunjukkan before corner frequency and after that corner frequency. So meaning, if I put here, this is one, okay, and then this is the line. So meaning, omega less than one and then here is omega Maksudnya, <coughs> omega besar daripada satu, okay. Omega less than one, another one is omega uh, greater than one, right. 
yang apa, kenapa saya letak satu dekat tengah ni? Why I put one here and why I put five here? Okay, so ada ada dia punya meaning dia. Okay, so before corner frequency, kita start balik kat basic factor tiga. Okay, before corner frequency, corner frequency kita satu kan? This is our corner frequency. So meaning before our corner frequency, sebelum line satu tu, so tidak ada slope. Kita labelkan with the zero. Okay, after corner frequency, until infinity, they have 20, 20. Okay, and then because of minus one, you have to put minus here. Okay, that's for basic factor number three. Same goes to basic factor number five, uh, number four. Okay, the corner frequency is five, right? So before that corner frequency, no slope. We make it zero, zero. And after that corner frequency, after five, they have uh, 20. And because of this minus, we put minus here. Is it clear how to fill up our table with the slope? Ada soalan? Any question? Hmm. hmm. So far so good or any question nak? You nak? Ha, ada. Ya. Yeah. Ada yang nombor empat tu. Kita ha. letakkan zero zero. Daripada mana kita nak tengok yang zero zero tu daripada uh, ni lah tu. Kita refer corner frequency. Kita refer pada corner frequency. So corner frequency dia untuk yang basic factor 4, corner frequency dia 5 kan? Okay, sekejap eh. Kita padam sekejap ni. Sekejap ya. Hmm. Okay, dekat mana kita tadi? Okay, then tanya corner frekuensi uh, 5 kan? Okay, now we refer back to our frekuensi 1. So, cuba kita tengok frekuensi 1. Frekuensi 1. Ini 1 kan? Frekuensi 1. So, ini frekuensi untuk 1. Okay, sebelum 1, dia tidak ada slope. Okay. So, maksudnya dekat garisan ini adalah medium nak tunjukkan sebelum 1 dan selepas 1. Okay. So maksudnya sebelum corner frekuensi 1, zero slope. Okay and then after corner frekuensi dia akan ada 20, 20. Let's say kalau ada 10 pun dekat sini dia akan ada minus 20. Goes to infinity lah. Okay so table ni akan get uh, akan getting bigger kalau corner frekuensi tu ada banyak lagi. Right. So sekarang untuk 5. So untuk corner frekuensi 5 Ni kan, corner frekuensi 5. So, dekat atas ni ada 5 kan. So, before corner frekuensi, dia tidak ada slope. Ni fix tau. Ni adalah fix. Sebenarnya uh, dekat note saya Maiden bagi awal lawas tu memang ada explain semua. Tapi Maiden tak refer that's note lah. Saya cuma just share how to plot magnitude and then how to prepare this uh, table. Okay, actually this table tak ada dalam textbook pun. This is uh, creativity kita orang nak ajar dekat student untuk senang faham. Okay. So this is the method. The easy method. You have uh, to give to our student uh, to sketch board plot with the easiest way. Okay. Now lima. Kita balas balik dekat lima tadi. Okay lima. Before corner frequency. Before five. 
uh, no slope. So meaning we have to label 0, 0. And then after 5, after corner frequency, is a 20 dB. Okay, but minus tu taulah minus daripada mana kan. So kita label with minus. Okay, after that kita total kan. Okay, we total this one. We can get minus 20. And and the uh, meaning the first total is a omega less than 1. Okay. And then from there, yang dekat tengah-tengah yang 40 ni, minus 20, minus 20, we can get minus 40. So dekat sini adalah omega greater than 1 but omega less than 1. Okay, we can get minus 40. Okay, then last one, omega greater than 5. Okay, so dekat 60 ni. So kita dapat 60. Okay, so lepas tu ni lah. The next, lepas table to complete, you have to summary the frequency. You have to summary the frequency. Okay. Any question? Until now. Okay, medium faham. Okay, faham contoh dah. Lah, ah, contoh medium, kalau corner frekuensi dia 6, so kita kena letak tengok selepas 6 lah baru ada nilai. Ya, yeah. yeah, betul. Betul. Okay, After corner frekuensi. Baik-baik. Okay, right. So, selepas table ni complete, so you all kena buat apa? Kita sum, kita nak summary kan dia lah. Kita summary kan all those uh, range dekat situ. Okay, so sekarang yang yang ini ni adalah kita punya summary range. Kita buatlah the first one ni. Okay, ni adalah untuk omega less than one. Okay, omega less than one. Total slope dia adalah minus 20 dB per decade. Ha, so nanti per decade tu masa-masa kita sketch tu kena ambil tahu. Okay. So omega between 1 and 5. This one. Okay ni nak tunjukkan yang number 2. Okay this is for omega greater than 1 but omega less than 5. Okay the last one. Omega greater than 5. Ni beli omega lah ni kat atas ni. This is omega sama dengan 1, omega sama dengan 5. Okay. Alright. So bila when omega greater than 5, so kita summary kan dapat this one. So kena tulis lah ni. First buat table, the second one you have to summary magnitude uh, with the frequency range. Okay. So the third one, kita buat apa the third one? The third one tu, we want to define begin. What's a begin for our magnitude plot? Okay, for magnitude, from this example, we have to use apa? We have to use two basic factor. The first one, you have to use constant. Another one, you have to use J omega. Okay, constant, how to get dB? 20 log 2. So, you can get 6. Okay, the second one for J omega, this is the formula. Allah Akbar. Sekejap eh. Okay, this is the formula for J omega. Okay, so meaning our J omega, formula dia adalah 20 log 1 over J omega. This one adalah J omega minus 1 kan? Okay, so kita letak minus dekat luar. Kenapa we put minus dekat luar? Because we have minus 1 here. We put minus, okay, minus 20 log omega kita replacekan with 0 0.1. Okay, so you akan dapat minus 20 dekat dalam ni. So, kita akan dapat ni minus Okay, you akan dapat 20 log 0 0.1 minus 20. So, darat dengan minus kat luar tu, you can get 20 dB. Okay, this is uh, 20 dB belong to J omega minus 1. Okay, lepas tu kita total kan. So, bila kita total kan, kita akan dapat lah 6 plus 20. So, you can get 26. Okay, 26 is your starting or begin point to plot magnitude versus frequency. Okay, any question? Ada soalan? Hmm. So far so good? Yes. 
Okay, very good. So now, kita nak tengok how to sketch. Okay, ni macam mana nak sketch pula ni. Sekejap eh, medium nak padam yang atas ni mengganggu pula. Kita medium padam. Okay. So this is our magnitude plot versus frequency. So kita copy balik yang magnitude tu letak kat sini. Okay. So this is a magnitude, how to plot magnitude versus frequency. Okay. How to label, tadi Madam dah, 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 dah mention dekat you. Uh, 20 cm equal to, uh, 2 cm equal to 20 dB. Okay. So we write on the graph, our scale, 2 cm equal to 20 dB. Okay, this is your scale we're going to use. Okay, now the first one, kita kena sketch empat ni, yeah, the first one. So, maksudnya omega uh, less than 1, omega between 1 and 5, another one is omega greater than 5. So, maksudnya kita akan sketch kita akan draw tiga tapi bersambung dah. Okay, bukan kita buat individual sketch. Right. So sekarang ni medium nak tunjuk how to combine tiga range ni untuk complete to get complete magnitude versus frequency. Okay. So now first one omega less than one slope dia minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, so from here you can see we have a dotted line. Okay, what's the meaning for dotted line? Siapa boleh jawab? What's the meaning for dotted line? Cuma nampak kan dotted line tu? You you can see from this uh, figure dotted line and solid line. Okay, the dotted line I want to show you uh, decade meaning one decade, okay, the solid line tu, the solid black line ni, yang line hitam tu, that's your actual magnitude plot versus frequency. Okay, so tadi kita tahu what's our begin? 26 kan? Okay, the, our begin point is 26. So you have to label your graph, start with 0 0.1, the next one, 1, lepas tu apa? Apa next dia? 100, sorry 10, 100 and then for your paper you can go until 1000 lah. Okay, ada label lagi kan? So label kan sampai 1000. 0.1, 1, 10, 100, 1000. Okay, yang merah ni, yang I put in the circle, this is meaning for one decade. Okay, this is for label, uh, for frequency label. Uh, at uh, X as this. Okay. Okay. So lepas tu omega less than 1. Macam ni nak plot omega less than 1. Okay. You start dekat mana tadi? 26 kan? Okay. You cari dekat dekat label uh, magnitude ni. So you kena find out where is uh, 26. Uh, so kena baca lah kotak kecil sikit kalau 26. So, tapi you dah label kan? You dah label 0, 20, 40 and asentra, is it? So, bila you all dah label Oh, oh sekejap eh. Kenapa aku lari? Okay, bila you all dah label So, you all dah senang lah nak cari where is the 26 dB. Okay. So, meaning somewhere here this is a 26. Okay. And then 26 is your magnitude. Okay, 20 plus 6 kan tadi you can get 26. But what is your frequency? Frequency we start at 0 0.1. Okay, the frequency we start at 0 0.1. Lepas tu, you start at 0 0.1, 1 decade is 1 right? Okay, this is a 1 decade. So you have to uh, draw your slope into decade. In one decade. Okay. So meaning the first one. The dotted line. I want to show you the decade. Let's say you start with 0 0.1. Just now. We start with 0 0.1. One decade is one. 
So that's dotted line. Dotted line is represent one decade. Okay, the dotted line is represent one decade. Okay, so you start at 0 0.1, one decade is a one. Okay, 0 0.1. And this is one. One decade dah kita dah buat. Okay, lepas tu macam mana nak define, how to define the slope? Okay, just now Madam dah share dekat you, 2 cm equal to 20 dB per decade. So, guna ruler, measure from here, sampai mana? 2 cm. Okay, measure lah 2 cm. So, meaning kita akan dapat somewhere here. Okay, this is one 2 cm. 2 cm equivalent to 20 dB per decade. Kalau tak percaya, kira lah kotak kecil tu. You can get 20 dB per decade, right? Lepas tu nak buat apa? Lepas tu sambung lah line ni. Tu sambung daripada dot begin tadi. Begin dekat 26 tu. You have to combine until here. So kita dah siap the first one. Okay. The second one. How to get the second one? Uh, omega between 1 and 5. Okay, now you stand here. You have to find out one decade first. Meaning, you start at 1. One decade is a 10. Okay, so you sketch dotted line here. Dotted line is to represent your one decade. Okay, this is your one decade. So, meaning you start with 1 until 10. This is a one decade, right? This is a one decade. Okay, from one decade sampai kat sini, berapa kecerunan? What's your slope? Minus 40. So, meaning minus 40 is you drop about 4 cm. Okay, so from here to here, this is a 4 cm. 4 cm equal to 40 dB. Okay, so meaning sampai sini kan? Okay. Kat sini lepas tu kita join kan the green line sampai sini. Okay, but you have to be careful because our range sampai mana? Our range adalah 1 hingga 5. So meaning sekarang kita buat 1 until 10 kan? So kita padamkan, kita padam, we delete. So meaning, kita stop dekat 5. Dengan kecerunan yang sama. Okay? Okay tak? Nampak tak apa yang Madam nak tunjuk range number 2 ni antara omega 1 dan 5? Clear ke? Why Madam padam balik? Clear ke tak? 4 cm. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now kita dah complete the second range. So, sekarang ni kita nak buat pula range yang ketiga. Omega greater than 5. So, kita stop tadi dekat 5 kan? This is 5. Yeah. Okay, ni 5. Okay, now yang tengok yang hijau tu. Okay, so sekarang kita stop dekat 5. So, satu decade dia apa? 5, satu decade dia? 50 kan? So, this is a one decade. Okay. So, you have to make your dotted line ni. Daripada 5 sampai sampai 50. Okay. Tu 50 lah tu. So, ni adalah 50. Okay, this is 5. Right? So, kita start, we start from 5 until 50. This is a 1 decade. Okay, the dotted line in red, this is a 1 decade. And then from there, berapa kecurunan dia? Minus 60. So, meaning, from here, kita drop guna ruler tu. Okay, you have to use your ruler about how, how many cm? 6 cm. Okay, 6 cm equal to 60 dB, okay, minus 60 dB, right. From there, kita combinekan sampai sini. Okay, 
that's equivalent to ni apa yang saya share kat sini lah. Slope, the last slope is a minus 60 db per decade. Minus tu kecurunan dia ke bawah lah. Negative slope. Okay. So, kita lajakkan aja garisan tadi. We expand until goes to maximum. Okay, now you already get your magnitude versus frequency. Okay, ada soalan tak? How to plot magnitude? Madam, uh, yang garis hijau tu kita tak payah bersentuh dengan 4 cm ke? Kita terus ke 6. 4 cm. Ulang balik, tak faham. Uh, daripada uh, corner frekuensi 5. 5, kita nak ke 50, kita tak ha. perlu sentuh kepada uh, 10. Direct je ke 50. Tak. Terus 50. Kita kena cari satu dikit. Satu dikit saja. Okay. Ha, satu dikit saja. Let's say Uh, we start at 5, kita start dekat 5, so satu dikit dia adalah 50. Oh, okay, so, okay. Gantung pada uh, maksimum dikit yang kita dah range dia tu. Ya, yeah, betul. So, okay. meaning kita buat dotted line tadi. Okay, so 4 cm ni adalah, jangan confuse lah pula, 4 cm ni adalah dekat sini. Okay, ni adalah 4 cm. Okay. So, we start 5, kita extendkan satu dikit sampai 50. Okey, so tapi kita cuma panjangkan sajalah. Lajakkan dengan kecerunan yang sama. Okey, kecerunan yang uh, 60 dB per dikit tadi but we have to expand until our green line tu goes to infinity. Okey, yang lain? Clear ke tidak? So, boleh ke? 5 until 50. This is a 1 dikit. Any question? So far so good? Good. Okay. So kita ada. Okay. Okay right. So Madam teruskan lagi. Okay. Good good je. Okay right. Now kita nak tengok how to plot face pula. Okay, we do the same thing. We prepare table how to define slope for face versus frequency. So the first column, second column kita labelkan sama macam yang magnitude tadi. Okay, the first column basic factor. The second column adalah corner frequency. Okay, so kalau you tengok daripada mana 0.1, 0.5, 10 and 50 tu. Okay, so meaning 1, kita divide 10, we can get 0.1. We multiply with 10, we can get 10. Okay, lepas tu corner frequency 5, we divide 10, we can get 0.5. We multiply with 10, we can get 50. Okay, for magnitude, I'm sorry, for phase, we have to divide and multiply with 10 to get the range, okay, to define the range uh, frequency, okay. So meaning, what is so you, you already know, after you multiply and, and divide with 10, you can get 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 10 and 50. So you have to label here, make it sequence, okay. You have to label, start with 0, 0.1, 0, 0.5, 10 and 50. Okay. Lepas tu, label lah macam biasa. Okay, untuk phase, basic factor yang pertama and basic factor number 2, basic factor number 3 and basic factor number 4. 1 and 2 is a zero slope. So, tak ada slope. Okay, so saya dash lah kat situ. So, meaning dash ni meaning zero. Okay. Zero slope for constant and for j omega also zero slope. Okay. Now kita tengok for corner frequency 1. For corner frequency 1, the range is, mana tadi kita buat? This is the range for corner frequency 1. Okay, 0 0.1 until 10. Okay. So 0 0.1 until 10. So, kita buat back sini balik eh. 1. Eh, sorry. Bukan. Buat macam tu confused pula. 
So one, the minimum point one, maximum is a ten. So during Okay, sepanjang uh, range ni, okay, Madam dah ceritakan semalam, ni adalah 45 dan daripada decade kan, 45 per decade, point 1 until 1. And ada 45 uh, degree per decade, 1 hingga 10. Satu decade lah tu. Okay, ni satu decade dan ini pun satu decade, right? So meaning, kalau kita extend kan, so ini adalah dua dikit. Ha, so nanti confuse pula. Ha, so ni jangan fikir. So kita buat dua, kita buat step by step. Okay. So corner frekuensi satu. So before 0 0.1. So meaning tak ada slope. So bila tak ada slope, meaning kita put 0. Okay. So slope between 0.1 till 10. Okay dekat sini lah. Slope untuk corner frekuensi satu antara 0.1 and 10. So that's why you tengok dekat situ minus 45 minus 45. After 10 we don't have slope. Straight line. Okay. And then same goes to frequency 5. Frequency 5 we refer to here between 0.5 and 50. Okay. Before 0.5 zero slope and then after 0.5 they have a minus 45, minus 45 and then after 50, zero slope. Okay, so after that, you total up kan column by column. So the first meaning, meaning the omega less than 1, zero. Omega between 0 0.1, 0 0.5, we get minus 45. Omega between 0 0.5, 10, we get minus 90. Omega between 10 and 50, we get minus 45. Okay. So, daripada situ kita summarykan macam ni. Okay. Clear. Sampai sini. So far so good. Okay kan? Okay. Okay. Senang je kan? Okay. Lepas tu nak buat apa? Okay. Lepas tu nak buat apa? So, kita uh, our table complete with the slope and then and the second step, we already summary the range, okay. And then the third one, you have to find begin. What's a begin untuk phase plot? Okay, ini adalah begin untuk phase plot. Okay, untuk phase plot, kita cuma refer J omega minus 1 sahaja. We refer to this one. So, meanings, ni lah. Begin, omega dia apa? Omega kosong pen satu. Okay, for J omega, berapa angle dia? Angle dia adalah 90. Because of this minus, ni sebab J omega minus 1. So, we add our angle or we start our angle at minus 90 degree. Okay, so let's say in your basic factor, Okay, let's say your basic factor plus 1. So, what is your starting point? What is your begin point for phase plot? Plus 1. Start dekat apa? Start dekat minus 90 degree. So, let's say J omega plus or minus 1. Tak ada dalam you punya basic factor. So, you all nak start berapa? Nak start dekat berapa? You punya face. Mio, nak start dekat berapa? Eh, Mio ada ke? Siapa boleh jawab? Ha, Mio ada. So, nak start dekat berapa? Mikir. Okey lah, Mikir jawab. Okey, kalau J omega minus 1, kita start dekat minus 90. Kalau J omega plus 1, we start at plus 90. Let's say kalau J omega plus minus 1 tu not in your basic factor. So what's degree or what's the angle you have to start your phase plot? Ha, siapa tahu selain daripada Mio? Siapa boleh jawab? Yeah, zero. Okay, very good. We start with zero degree. Ya, yeah, Hidayah. Very good. So kita start dekat kosong degree. Okay. Ha, itu dah additional 
additional information tu. Suppose ni Medan tak perlu bagi tahu pun dan bocor dah soalan ni. Okay. So we start at zero. Kalau J omega plus minus tu tak ada dekat dalam your basic factor. Right? Okay let's sketch your or draw your face plot. Ha, this is your face plot. How it looks like. Okay. So dekat sini uh, graph paper ni dia guna 1 cm 45. Tapi madam nak you all buat 2 cm equal to 45 degree ya. Tadi madam dah bagi tahu awal kan. 2 cm equal to 45 degree. Okay. So for this example uh, actually this example is uh, 1 cm equal to 45 degree. Okay, this example is a uh, 1 cm equal to 45 degree. But you have, Allah Akbar. So you have to sketch your face plot using this scale. Okay, you have to use this scale. 2 cm equal to 45 degree. Okay. So sama juga cara dia. The first one, ini adalah kita punya the first range untuk kita sketch. Okay, the first one, omega greater than 0.1 but less than 0.5 but you have to sketch the slope per within per decade okay so kita start dekat mana so let's say so ni madam label kat sebelah kanan kan so cuba copy balik so let's say dekat sini adalah minus nanti so ini adalah dia kosong degree okay dekat sini adalah minus 180 and this one is a minus minus 270 minus 270 okay you relabel balik on the left okay label balik sebelah kanan tu okay lepas tu nak buat apa the first one point one first range point one omega point one and greater than point five uh, bigger than 0.1 but omega less than 0.5. Okay. Kita kena cari dulu. Let's say you start omega sama dengan 0.1. Cari satu decade dia apa? Satu kan? Okay. Ini adalah one decade. Okay. This is one decade. So kita buatlah garis putus ni. Kita start dekat tadi apa? Kita start dekat 90. Okay, we start at 90. Lepas tu kita buat dotted line ni. Dotted line ni adalah 0.1 frekuensi sampai 1. This is a 1 decade. Okay. So, ini adalah 1 decade. Kita kena buat slope dalam decade. Kita cari satu decade, buat slope. Cari satu decade, buat slope. Okay, lepas tu tengok dia punya range. Okay. Lepas tu berapa dia punya slope? Minus 45 degree per decade. So, meaning minus 45 you drop about 2 cm eh. Okay, 2 cm. Ini adalah kita punya scale. 2 cm meaning let's say katakanlah sampai sini. Okay. So kita dah buat 2 cm. Lepas tu you sambung kan. You sambung. Tapi kenapa dotted line tu ada dekat situ. You cuba tengok range dia. Range dia adalah sampai 0.5. So ni adalah 0.5. So kita berhenti kat 0.5. So balance kecerunan tadi tu that's why you akan nampak dotted line dekat situ. Supposedly dia sampai sini kan. Ha, okay sampai situ. Baru kita dapat minus 45 degree per decade. Kita nak pakai 45 sama dengan 2 cm. Guna 2 cm. Jangan pakai 1. 2 cm. 2 cm equal to 45 degree. Okay. Jangan guna yang dekat dalam contoh ni. So kita guna 2 cm. Not this one. Example ni dia guna satu sebab that's why you nampak pek kecil aja graph dia. Kalau kita guna 2 cm dia akan besar sikit dia punya range. Okay. So you assume kan this graph we use scale 2 cm equal to 45 degree per decade. Okay, now we finish for the first one. Ni kita siap. Okay, let's say the second one. Omega between 0.5 and 10. Now we start at 0 
Okay, yang biru tu kita tak nak. Okay, kita buang yang biru tu. Okay, now you start at 0.5. Satu decad dia apa? Ha. If you start at 0.5, one decad is a 5. Okay, this is a one decad. Okay. So, kita buatkan dia punya dotted line tadi. So, ni lah dotted line ni. Okay, dotted line ni. Okay, dotted line ni adalah one decad. Right, lepas tu kita sampai dekat dotted line tu kita drop kan guna ruler tu ukur berapa kalau 90 kan? 90 meaning 4 cm. So ini adalah 4 cm. 4 cm equal to 90 degree. Okay, lepas tu kita sambung ni. Sampai sini. Okay, sampai sini lah. Ni 50 kan? Eh sorry, 5. So ini adalah lima. Tapi cuba tengok range dia sampai mana. Range dia sampai sepuluh. So kita sambunglah dengan kecurunan tadi tu sampai ten. Ha, sampai sini. Kita sambung sampai sepuluh. Okay clear tak? Masa bila kita nak pendek, masa bila kita nak panjangkan. Okay. For this range, omega greater than five but less than ten, we have to expand our uh, line until 10 with the same uh, slope. Okay, slope kita tadi sampai hijau je kan? Slope kita sampai 5 je. Sampai sini. Okay, our slope is here. But the range is 10. So, you have to expand until 10. This is 10. Okay. So, the next one, the last one, 10 until 50. Okay, we start at 10. Masya Allah. Sekejap, sekejap. Yuk. Okay, we start with 10. One decade is a 100. Okay, this is a one decade. So, kita buat garis putus daripada sini tadi. Daripada mana? Daripada 10 kan? Kita last dekat 10. So, this is a one decade. Okay, ini adalah 100 kan? Okay, ini 100. Right. So, jadi... Kita uh, berapa? 45. 45 so meaning 2 cm. Okay. Kita buat 2 cm kat sini. 2 cm equivalent to 45 degree. Okay. Lepas tu kita sambungkan. Sambunglah yang daripada ni tadi ni. Sambung yang daripada biru kan. Kita extend sampailah sini. Contoh dia. Tapi cuba tengok range dia. Range dia sampai 50. So kita padam lah. Sekejap eh. Lari pula dia. So garis sampai sini. Okay yang maiden garis tu is a for one decade. One decade about 2 cm. Okay but you have to refer to range. Range is 50. So kita delete. Kita delete. Berhenti dekat mana? Berhenti dekat 50. So ini adalah 50 because our range is 50. Okay. And after 50, we go to straight line. Ha, straight line lah, sorry. Kita pergi straight line. Okay. Ada soalan? Ya, yeah, ini dan padam ni nanti confuse hijau. Okay, sampai sini. Straight line. Lepas 10. Uh, sorry, lepas 50. Lepas 50 tu adalah straight line. Okay. So we complete our phase plot versus frequency. Any question? So far so good. Tak ada soalan lagi. Clear? Good. Okay, right. So now we complete to sketch our magnitude and phase. Okay, lepas tu macam mana nak define stability? Okay, bila kita dah ada magnitude and phase, kita nak define pula the stability. Okay, untuk define stability, how to define gain margin and then how to define phase margin. Okay, to define gain margin, you have to apa? refer phase 
So cari dekat mana your PCO ikut pada explanation ni lah. Explanation ni. Okay. So to find game margin you have to refer face plot. You have to refer your face plot. Okay cari where is a face plot cross minus 180. So, so let's say kita pergi dekat face. Ha, ni face kita tadi kan. Okay, boleh tak medium padam? Sebab dia dah record kan sebelum tu. So, medium padam eh. Bucu ramuk ni. Eh. So, si padam ni semua. So, nak tunjukkan how to define uh, apa tu? Face crossover frequency. Okay. So sekarang kita cari where is our line minus 180. So inilah minus 180. So kita buat satu line. Okay. So where is our magnet, uh, face plot tadi? Face plot kita adalah yang hijau ni. Okay this is a green color for our face plot. And the red, the red uh, line to show there is a line for 180 degree. Okay, ini ada line yang untuk 180. Ni fix tau. Line 180 ni adalah fix untuk kita define apa? Untuk kita define phase crossover. Berapa phase crossover frekuensi kita? Depan ni adalah omega. Kita nak cari omega. Okay, macam mana cari omega? Where is our... Uh, magnitude, uh, sorry, where is our face cross minus 180 line tu. So meaning is somewhere here kan. Ayo. So dekat sini. So meaning yang hijau ni, our face plot cross minus 180. So meaning is somewhere here. So bacalah berapa dekat bawah ni. So you have to read what's the value here. Okay, meaning you can get example. Two Radian per second. Okay, this is what's your phase crossover frequency value. You can, you get 2 radian per second. Okay. So, from there, bila dah dapat 2 radian per second ni, kita boleh define GM. GM ni adalah daripada mana? Daripada magnitude plot. Okay, daripada magnitude plot. Okay, pergi dekat magnitude plot. Kita cari value 2 radian tadi. So, you have to define from the magnitude plot. Define this one. Kita cari 2 radian. Okay. Kita pergi dekat mana? Ha, ni pergi kat sini. Wow. Sekejap ya. Padamnya. Nanti sekarang confuse banyak sangat lain. Okay. So wait is our two. Before that kita buat line kosong dulu. Okay ini adalah line kosong. Kosong dB ya. Eh? This is a line for zero dB. Okay to fix juga. So wait is our magnitude. Magnitude plot adalah ini. Okay this is our magnitude plot. So wait is a... Uh, Dua tadi. So kita punya phase crossover frequency adalah sama dengan dua radian per second. Okay so dua adalah dekat sini. Okay. So you all buat garisan sampai dia sentuh dekat mana. Sampai uh, you make it line for two radian per second tu until you reach Apa tu? Yang hijau tu? Your magnitude plot. Okay, lepas tu baca dekat tepi ni berapa value dia. Okay, berapa value dia. Right? So, itu adalah your let's say lah contoh eh dekat sini let's say 10. Okay, 10 tu adalah so meaning your GM equal to 10 dB. So nak tahu positif or negatif uh, your line zero so meaning your gap is here. Kan? 
So kalau gap tu below zero, so meaning gain margin you positif. Okay. So contoh dia ini adalah 10. Okay baca. So and then from there kita tengok where is a gap below below 0 0 dB ataupun upper 0 dB. So cuba tengok dekat nota yang Madam bagi tadi. Ha ni. The first one. Gain margin, face margin. Okay. So gain margin. Kita cari apa tadi? Kita cari face margin kan? Okay face margin meaning this one. Kita dah cari dah your face crossover somewhere here. Lepas tu Let's say tadi dua, kita, ini kalau kita, you mapping kan you punya graph tu, you mapping kan sampai you dapat dia punya X tu sama lah ataupun you cari, you dah tahu your, sorry, face. PCO sama dengan dua, radian per second. Okay pun dekat sini pun carilah dua radian per second. Lepas tu you ambil garisan ni kan. Okay sekarang ni gap dia, kat mana gap dia. So gap untuk positif adalah dekat sini. Bawah lain kosong. Okay gap dekat situ. So value of gain margin you adalah positif. Cuma dekat sini you kena baca lah dapat berapa kotak. Okay you have to read berapa value dekat sini. Berapa dB. Okay but plus or minus you have to refer to this uh, theory. So let's say if you get if you get bawah uh, 0 dB your gain margin positif. For the second figure you tengok gain margin you dekat mana? Uh, bahagian atas kan upper 0 dB kan? Upper line of 0 dB so meaning dekat situ gain margin you is a minus. Okay? So sama juga macam mana nak cari face margin you kena cari this one dulu. Untuk cari face margin you kena tahu what is your gain crossover frequency. Okay. So so you pergi dekat magnitude plot. Ni magnitude plot. Dekat mana dia cross kosong dB. So magnitude yang hijau ni. The green color is magnitude plot. Cross zero line. That the red color. Okay so meaning mana dia. So ni kan. Sampai here. So cari berapa value radian, berapa value frekuensi kat bawah ni. So let's say you can get about 1.2 radian per second. Okay so meaning your gain crossover equal to 1.2 radian per second. Okay. So itu adalah gain crossover and then from there you pergi balik dekat apa benda ni. Face plot. Okay, pergi dah balik kat face plot, cari where is uh, your 1.2. So your 1.2 is somewhere here. Ini adalah 1.2 kat sini. Okay, this is a 1.2. 1.2 bila dotted kan dia uh, sampai dia jumpa ni. Okay, sampai dia jumpa line hijau. Lepas tu you all kena baca berapa value dekat sini. Berapa dia punya face. Okay, and then from there, face margin, ni formula kan, eh? 180, 180 degree plus berapa face tadi. Okay, campurkan face dia. So, you all dapatlah face margin. Okay, ada soalan. Lepas tu nak tahu dia punya gap tu, uh, apa or below uh, minus Uh, 180 line tu refer lah dekat notes ni. Kita okay, tengok gap dia dekat mana. Okay gap dia dekat atas ke ataupun dekat bawah. Okay so you can refer this one. Masa bila uh, your minus face margin and uh, which one is your positive face margin. Okay so from there you can conclude if you get your uh, plus gain margin and plus face margin, you can conclude your system stable. Okay. Uh, if you get your 
minus phase margin and minus gain margin meaning your system unstable okay clear any question ada soalan dah habis chapter buat plot ha ada soalan tak madam tunggu ni any question so far so good no a good good okay good good eh okay okay tak apa lepas ni exercise eh? <laughs> okay exercise lepas ni so far so good okay shamili okay so if so far so good nah if so far so good so this is madam ada example two so example two this is one of your question for your quiz number three and then madam add on another one question as your practice Okay, so so your quiz have a two question. Question one from this example two and uh, question three. Okay, example three is your 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 uh, quiz question number two. Okay, so example dua ni. Uh, this is the apa tu? The forward gain. Okay, and then h equal to unity feedback. So g darab h open loop down function you can get your this one back kan you akan dapat ni balik okay from there so kena buat ni lah so you have to rearrange or you have to simplify g you uh, change to s sorry sorry s domain you change to j omega okay uh, we analyze in term of apa frequency domain okay from there Uh, you have to simplify lah. You have to simplify apa ni. Apa yang nak kena simplify. Sebab ni ada 10, ni 2, ni 5. Ha, so you have to simplify. Bawa keluar 10, bawa keluar 2 and then you bawa keluar 5. Sebab you kena simplify apa. Jadi 1 plus J omega T kan. Okay so the first one tu bawa keluar 10. So ni 10 jadi 1 plus J omega over 10. Okay and then lepas tu 2 dan 5. Lepas tu you yang the constant number you can slash each other. You can cancel out. You can simplify. Okay. Lepas tu. Ha, so sekarang dekat sini I give you one example zero uh, first order. So mana zero first order. Ni lah zero first order dia. This is your zero first order. Sebab ada numerator kan. Okay, now your basic factor adalah 10. Another one is a 1 plus J omega over 10. So, ni minus 1. Okay, lepas tu J omega minus 1. Another one is a 1 plus J omega over 2. Another one is 1 plus J omega over 5. So, we have a 1, 2, 3. 4, 5. 5 basic factor. Okay. But this one, kalau yang plus satu ni, slope dia 20 plus lah. Okay. Ha. So, itu beza dia. But slope sama juga 20-20. Dan same goes to face. Face dia adalah 45 degree but minus. Eh, sorry. Plus. Ha, okay. Kalau yang minus macam contoh tadi lah kan. Ha, so kalau macam ni minus 1 ni minus 1. So kecerunan dia negatif lah. Yang ini adalah bahagian numerator kan. So jadi kecerunan dia positif. Maksudnya kecerunan tu akan menaik. Bila you sketch nanti dia akan go up. Instead of kalau minus, minus, minus ni dia menurun. Kalau plus dia akan menaik. Okay. Ha, so try lah nanti. Example number 2 ni as your quiz. So, apa you punya constant? Constant you adalah K. Okay, this is your constant. So, meaning constant you adalah 20 log 10 lah nanti. So, you akan dapat what's the value 20 log 10. Right? Okay. Ada soalan? Any question? Tak ada soalan lagi. So far, so good. 
Okay, so kalau tak ada soalan ha. Kalau tak ada soalan, sekejap ya, medium nak ha. Okay hmm. So dah habislah Sampai sini saja. Okay, so ada nak tanya apa-apa ha. So experience, let's do the experience how to plot magnitude and phase versus frequency. Okay. Medium nak stop dulu. Hmm. 